So if you saw that naked photo of our BT couch before, it's all changed. So if you saw that naked photo of our BT couch before, it's all changed. Look at this. Carla Dreyer is here. I'm so excited. Look at this. Thanks for dressing things up. Thank this, you. This looks fantastic. A lot of textures, a lot yeah. of layers. Want to make sure you can absorb it at home. Yes, yes. Yes. This blue couch has had a little bit of a makeover on this set. So now, Come out of seat. Tell us about uh, the vision. I mean, uh, it wasn't hard to top because the couch was just <laughs> the couch. But uh, how did you approach it? And uh, if we're staging a home, that's, that's our focus here. Yeah. I mean, springtime is such a perfect time to sell, right? and if you're gonna sell you want to stage your home and this is so huge and you can make so much more money if your home looks good because it's such an emotional attachment so some of the things you want to do is clear out the clutter and so get rid of extra books magazines even furniture like you can rent furniture so you could take some things away and put some things in if you've got bookshelves make sure that they look nice and we have a photo of the bookshelves. we do uh, have a photo so you, you know this. this is my inspiration of ideally what I would love your bookshelf to look like uh, so I'm sure you know we have a lot more clutter right now if you've got bins and baskets you can see there at the bottom put things in the bins and baskets it makes such baskets here on the side we've got the nice baskets touch. on the set so if you've got kids throw the stuff in the baskets and uh, get rid of that clutter okay. second thing is you want to style it and so I would say look to magazines like home magazines for styling and when I say in, in decorating I say sometimes don't be too perfect but be perfect here so you can see like on a coffee table we've got the bowl and the flowers you've got it styled up we've got a couple pictures I think too even in your two side tables here too. side Very tables nice. there's some styled up uh, coffee table action there I think we have a kitchen picture too but you know think of these moments you really want it to to draw people in emotionally to your place and if it's styled they can picture them themselves in there. I love your third tip, and this isn't just for home staging because Lori is all about this. Good <laughs> smells. Good smells. Oh in the place. my goodness. Well, you don't want to go and everyone has like a house smell, right? Like, yeah. a, you know, it sounds weird. But so open the windows, like, seriously, like the day before, the doors, everything. Let and the home then breathe. Let the home breathe. Really got to breathe. Light a candle, get a nice candle, and, you know, light it in your home like an hour before. And it makes such a difference, right? I remember going into a home once and it smelled good and it seriously made me want to buy it because. <laughs> It just, it's just, it's how you feel, and it's, it's creating the feeling around it. Uh, let's tickle the senses with some fresh flowers. You've got to have fresh flowers. I mean, bringing nature in it makes people feel good. It makes you feel more connected and a fresh flower. So just do something simple. Don't go crazy, but just have some fresh flowers in there, and it just makes a difference to your home and how you feel. I like the messaging on the pillows, by the way, too. You can't mm -hmm. see the other one. A shout-out to Kitts Beach. But, uh, oh, there's the flowers, too. But yeah. Vancouver. Nice a little thing. Vancouver. And you know what? That's another tip is go neutral. I know we've got a blue couch but you can see everything else we did was neutral because say you had bright green walls or bright yellow people may not like that so I think if you go neutral you're appealing to more people as well okay yeah. uh, for you watching at home that uh, have seen Carla on the show you may not know she has a real estate background as well yes. so we wanted to say well what are the key questions to ask realtors to know you could trust uh, they're the right person to make the big decision yeah absolutely I think the first thing I would say is go with someone who knows your neighborhood especially in Vancouver I think there's so many pockets to east side to west side to downtown so if someone really knows your area they're gonna know what's happening there the second thing ask them how they're gonna market it so are they doing professional photos is there a virtual tour are they handing out flyers are they networking with their peers is it door knocking like what are they gonna do to market your home and then the third thing is but to get them to tell you the negatives, which sounds weird, but kind of what we were talking about here, it's like if you need to repaint or you need to redo that deck or whatever you need to do to get them to tell you the negatives so you can make your home the best you can and get the best dollar for it at the end of the day. Uh, so. fi final question. Can we keep this? Because this is, this is uh, nice. I, I say yes. <laughs> this looks we, awesome. We can squeeze up the set. I love what you've done here. The only thing I can say is this reminds me of growing up, and, and maybe you at home have the same, where you have this nice, pristine room. Right. In your home, yes. and mom always says, Don't sit there. Don't, don't touch, touch this it. room. Yeah, exactly. You know, Watch I was the fluffing up the pillows behind you there, right? Don't, sit <laughs> don't sit too far back. So, yeah, absolutely. You want your place when you're selling it to look its best. It's like going out on a date. You would look your best. You want your home to look its best. Style it up. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have to give a shout out to the company that helped us stage this for ideas. Uh, where did we get the inspiration today? It's CF Interiors, uh, formerly known as Country Furniture. Okay. Yeah. Great We've got idea, some great sir. stuff there. So, Carla, thank you. Thank you. Now, can we just lounge back? We can lounge now. We can mess up the pillows. It's okay. We'll enjoy the good <laughs> life over here. Uh, listen, we'll take a quick break. Follow along.